Our next speaker is Wendell Fields. We're so excited to have Wendell. He's a suicide and depression survivor. He has over 25 years of coordinating care and services for individuals who manage chronic and severe mental health symptoms, substance use issues, um, under the, um, and he works uh, th through, I'm sorry, he works through the Georgia uh, Department of Behavioral Health and Developmental Disabilities Commission for the Region 3 counties um, doing um, a mobile crisis response on that team. Um, so he's working through Region 3, and we're so excited to have you, and thank you for being here. Thank you all. Well, good morning, everybody. How are y'all doing? How many people are doing great, spectacular, just yippee ki yay today? <laughs> Can I get a hand? Can I get a hand? Oh, okay, good crowd, good crowd. How many people in there? Eh, okay, I'm all right. Okay, yeah, yeah, this is it. How many people are not doing too good today? It's not feeling it. How many people don't know how they're doing right now? <laughs> how many people just don't give a rat's patootie right now? <laughs> feelings. Nothing more than feelings. Nothing more than... What well, I mean, if we didn't just acknowledge that? I want you to close your eyes for a moment. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. I'm not going to bother you. I promise you. I want you to think about that. It's about 3 o'clock in the morning. And you fast asleep. And it ends up that you're hearing the bang, bang, boom, boom. You hear voices in the background. And you decide to wake up. And you find that one of your loved ones is hallucinating. They're delusional at the time. The bang bang is them trying to bust the pipe open because they can hear little men in the pipes. And they want to get them out to free them. And you're like, oh my goodness, what can I do? They're not hurting anybody and they're not hurting themselves. But boy, they are hitting that doggone pipe. We are real hard. What do you do? Open up your eyes. What do you do? Who do you call? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's where mobile crisis comes in, as well as behavior health link, GCAL. Anybody heard of GCAL? Georgia Crisis and Access Line. That's who we are. And in that, we have two services that we provide. One, you call in the call center. And you say, hey, this is going on. I don't know what to do. And, and they're going to ask you a series of questions. And then they're going to ask, okay, how do you want us to help you today? They're going to give you some options. They're going to say, hey, if that person can calm down, we can set them up with an urgent appointment tomorrow. <coughs> Or they will say, well, put them on the phone. Let's talk to them. Let's see what's going on from their point of view. Or if it's just really bad, we send out mobile crisis to you. Okay? So, here it is. You call the call center, and they say, hey, this is going on. They try to get the person on the phone. They're not able to. And so then it ends up that, the third party person you say, look, I, I really need some help here. Can, can you bring somebody out? And they say, of course, we got the mobile crisis team. And they come out and they do on the spot um, assessments. On the spot assessment. You have a clinical licensed individual, sometimes two, sometimes one. But believe me, you are going to get a professional to come out and do that assessment with that individual. I, myself, as a, as a field care consultant, comes out and I make sure the area is safe. I coordinate services. I call numbers to try to help out with the situation at hand. Okay? And so it, it, it becomes interesting because that 3 o'clock that I was talking about was my mom. And she was thinking that people were in the pipes. 
and she had to free the people in the pipes. And the team came out, and they were able to sit down and see what was going on with my mom. Sometimes it's that the chemicals in the brain is not doing so good. Either the brain isn't producing a lot, or it's producing too little of the chemical. So it brings on hallucinations. It can bring on. But sometimes it's dementia. And there's two different things with that that's going on. So in that, the clinician came out. They talked with my mom. It ended up that my mom really wasn't doing well. And it ended up that she had to go to the hospital. And so in that, she didn't want to go. So we helped coordinate services um, with that. So how many people have ever heard of a 1013? Raise your hand. What is a 1013, ladies and gentlemen? Can I get a volunteer? Oh, come on, don't be shy now. What's a 1013? Say again. Yes, it means that you're going into the hospital involuntary, at least for three days. So they can evaluate you to see how we can help you, to see if the medications can work. They do a whole plethora of assessments there. But we help coordinate those services, okay? So you're never alone. We are 24-7 and we're 365 days. And guess what? You're free. Free. People are available to you at any moment at any time. So, when I come out, I coordinate the services for you, I call, I do all of that. But guess what? I'm the person that follows up with you too. So I'm going to call you the next day, the day after, or the day after that, and say, hey, how are you doing today? What's going on? Hey, how did we do when we came out? Were we courteous and professional to you? Did we let you know what your rights and responsibilities were? Do you feel that we respected your, your, your race, your culture, your religion? Hey, did we give you a safety plan, a plan that helps you to get through if this happens again? As well as, was we helpful? Was the service we provided, was it appropriate? These are the things that we provide. And we're happy to do it. And guess what? The other people are happy to. Because the results that I get when I call, it's amazing. People say they were so friendly. They were kind. They were loving. They didn't make me feel like I was nothing. You know, with mental illness that comes, that labeling. People don't want to be labeled. They just want to be a human being. So that's the reason I started off with, hey, how many people are doing great, spectacular, just yippee ki yay Because all of you are human beings. Whether you have a mental health issue or not, whether you have a substance abuse issue or not, whether you have a developmental disability or not, you're a human being. And we're here to serve you. So, in the closing, just know that you all can look this up for yourself. If you don't believe me, you can go to B-H-L-T-E-S-T dot -E com and look it up for yourself. And our number, as the gentleman has already expressed, is 1-800-715-4225. And they will connect with you and they will help you. And uh, don't forget those questions I asked. Hey, how you doing today? Because it's the most important one. Because if somebody would have asked me, I think I would have shared that with them. I wouldn't have tried to take my life. So y'all keep on keeping on. Keep smiling. Keep helping the people who you help. Because each and every one of you got a gift and ability to help someone for that day. Okay?